Fletcher Dual Mast Booms The Rib Bolting Game Changer the dual mast booms can be retrofitted to the current RSA, HDDR and CHDDR machines, reducing capital cost to the customer for a versatile semi-autonomous bolter. This will orientate and familiarize operators with semi-automatic bolting as we progress towards fully autonomous systems. The offset boom pivot configuration steps out the booms and allows for the mast hoses to be run on the inboard side of the boom. This feature has been specifically designed to minimize damage to hydraulic hose failures and the cost associated to hydraulic oil spills. The indexing dual mass boom design provides numerous time-saving, safety and operator fatigue reduction features. A hydraulically controlled stinger provides roof reference and can be used to pin roof mesh similar to a timber jack mast. Two independent masts equate to one bolt head and one drill head. Theoretically, the drill and bolt masts share the load that a conventional mast would perform and will increase the life of these units, increasing the interval time between rebuilds or interventions. A dedicated drill mast makes it possible to use a fixed in-position twist-lock drill steel, which prevents the drill steel from staying behind in the roof or rib when retracting the drill head. The mast is also fitted with a drill guide bush at the top. There is no need for a hydraulic drill guide, reducing the risk of finger injuries and whipping drill steels. A dedicated bolt mast makes it possible to match the bolt head chuck with the customer's bolt, which eliminates the need for a bolt spanner. This greatly reduces cycle time and operator effort. The hydraulic joystick is a significant feature on the dual mast booms reducing the amount of operator effort required to activate the drilling controls for a full shift. Furthermore, when the operator starts to feed and rotate to drill the hole, there is an option to latch the controls and the machine will continue drilling the hole automatically. The operator now has the added benefit of taking a step back to prepare the resin capsule, which saves time and reduces exposure to water splashing during wet drilling the operator would also be handling significantly less steel during the drilling and bolt cycle, which saves time, reduces operator fatigue, improves efficiency and production. The dual mast design will improve general housekeeping and cleanliness of the tool tray, providing a more ergonomic and operator-friendly working environment a laser curtain safety feature prevents the operator from reaching out and touching a rotating drill steel. A key feature is the option for the operator to switch between drill settings for harder and softer strata. The boom also includes an anti-jam valve, which supplies the maximum feed and rotation speed and pressure required to drill the hole. This reduces operator effort, saves time, improves hole quality and extends bit life. A hydraulic controlled pneumatic resin inserter eliminates the need for the operator to stretch and insert resin into the drill hole by hand. This reduces operator effort and improves safety by keeping the operator under the canopy at all times. Especially true during rib bolting, where an operator is exposed to falling roof debris when stretching out towards the rib to insert resin. The indexing mast system in conjunction with the resin inserter on the drill mast means the operator only rolls the mast over once to do a rib bolt versus twice with a conventional mast. This will significantly reduce side bolting cycle times as trying to line up the bolt with the prior drilled hole with a conventional mast can be very time consuming. The resin timer circuit is a hydraulic feature that is activated after the bolt has been fed into the hole through the resin. Once activated, the bolt head will automatically spin the resin for a set time, wait and torque the bolt nut. The setting can be adjusted by mine personnel when required and it ensures consistent bolt quality for every shift. Blower life. Traditionally on an HDDR, if fitted with hydraulic driven blowers, the blowers are engaged as soon as the TRS is pressurized against the roof. They remain engaged until the TRS is lowered after a complete row of roof and rib bolts. 
With the dual mast design, the blowers are only engaged when the mast drill is in drill mode, which reduces blower runtime. The Fletcher dual mast boom is indeed the bolting game changer.